Welcome back to a completely new series. <laughs> I really enjoyed my fixing coordinates series, but I wanted to move away from the term fixing because I felt like it was implying that your own original coordinates were bad and I didn't like that. <laughs> I felt that every time I was just helping finish a coordinate, offering pieces that were kind of missing to complete it, or offering more ways to wear a coordinate. So I just really didn't like the term fixing anymore. It came from a challenge that I did and sort of evolved from there, but I want this series to evolve again. I really enjoy helping you work on your coordinates and try new things. So that's what this series is all about. Whether your submissions are in this video or not, my objective with this series is to kind of get you thinking about more ways to wear each of your pieces and hopefully get more use out of your dresses and just wear Lolita more often more ways. I encourage everyone watching to give your own advice too to these Lolitas because it really helps to hear from different people with different perspectives, different styles, different experiences. Let's all share our knowledge and ideas and hopefully it can help one another. I'm going to be using a lot of pieces from today's sponsor Devil Inspired, but these are just visual examples. You don't have to purchase these exact pieces but it'll hopefully give you some ideas of things to look for from other Lolita retailers in the secondhand market, even at thrift stores, and sometimes you can find blouses and tights and shoes from local malls and mainstream stores too. So, And if you want to get these pieces, I will have the codes for them on Devil Inspire's website in my images, so you just have to search for that code and they will come up. Isn't Devil Inspired a scam site? No, they're a Taobao reseller, meaning that they sell a lot of product from Taobao that they buy in bulk to sell to people all over the world. It's an alternative to using a shopping service because the products are conveniently stored in their warehouses and they are able to organize their listings. But their markup is so high. That's because they have to make a profit in order to pay their employees fairly, and they also spend a lot of money in marketing, which allows them to accommodate a larger audience. But don't you have an obligation to tell people about other services? Not really. Devil Inspired is paying me to make this ad, which helps me continue to pay my bills and make content here on YouTube. But I always do try to be transparent that they are not the only option and they are not the cheapest option, they are just really convenient. You should really make videos about other shopping services. I have, but honestly I can't afford to. You. I personally find shopping on Taobao really difficult to navigate. If you care about getting the absolute cheapest option, the best way to do it is to buy in a larger quantity over time with a shopping service, but that doesn't really meet my personal shopping style. I like to buy one or two pieces and then have them immediately. <laughs> when I've used shopping services to buy one or two items here or there, I've been hit with quite a lot of fees, especially as a Canadian. Sometimes I'll contact somebody in my community when they're doing a large Taobao order and say, hey, can you throw this thing in for me and I'll send you money for it. But other than that, I pretty much personally use resellers because I don't mind paying slightly more for the ease of just clicking a link. <laughs> if you don't want to use a reseller and you want to buy from Tabo using a shopping service, I recommend these videos <laughs> instead because I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you about Taobao like I'm some sort of expert when I am definitely not. Even with Devil Inspired's markup, there are many items under $100. <laughs> I really hope that clears up your concerns. Yeah, I guess I'm glad they are helping you. Their shop isn't for me so in the future. I'm just going to skip these ads. Thank you, Rilakkuma. I really appreciate it. Anyways, let's get styling. Cutie Cat T was looking for more ways to style this bodyline dress. It's the one with the carousel horses. I feel like the original coordinate is really safe within like Lolita guidelines, which is perfect and really adorable, but I came up with two very different alternatives for you, which I'm not sure if you would be interested in, but maybe, who knows? So the first one is really going with the kind of carousel theme, <laughs> and that is doing a more carnival circus style. My initial thoughts to seeing this print is going back to the days of carousel headpieces, which I cannot find any at all. I found this one on Etsy, but it looks like the store hasn't been active for quite a while. So if anyone in the comments knows where you can find a carousel headpiece, let me know. Cause I'm very curious. They were such a cute like staple back in the day. 
You could always DIY and make one. I think that this blouse is really cute with this dress because you can kind of move the flags over top of the neckline and kind of give a different look for it. It doesn't really show up too much in my poor Photoshop skills, but that was kind of the idea going there. I took some of the colors from the print and just put them beside the JSK so that you can see it more. I feel like personally with black sweet pieces, I try to bring out more of the colors in the pieces that I'm styling with it. Definitely, definitely just my own personal style. I think that you can use these colors to either match or complement pieces into your coordinate. They don't have to be these exact colors. I couldn't decide on a shoe color because I liked all of these kind of cartoony, clowny looking shoes. I think that you could even do one of each and like mix and match it if you're going like real clowny. Because the sleeves have this abrupt Stop. I was kind of envisioning a lot of like jewelry and a lot of bracelets. I couldn't really find what I was looking for on Devil Inspired, but Magical Girl Me, the indie brand, they definitely have a lot of bracelets that you could work with this. I was kind of envisioning like almost like raver candy style, like lots and lots of bracelets. Or alternatively, like a pair of long opera gloves kind of scrunched down and then with a few staple bracelets to give it more of a clowny vibe. I also envisioned M. Gorey's harlequin hat with this bow like you could have one and the other and then have some kind of pigtail or bun situation behind it watch cutie cat t be like i hate clouds i'm afraid of clouds <laughs> this coordinate is going for more of like a toned down but still sort of hime inspired look i've been noticing these blouses become more and more popular with taobao brands they are kind of like sleeveless but then the sleeves come up here and are detachable and then it's covering the space in the center but leaving your shoulders exposed which is like ooh bad lolita rule but like <laughs> looks really cool still you're technically wearing a blouse i like it a little edgy i think that this would be a good way to kind of add more emphasis on the bows that are right here on the straps and it would be a really fun way to wear this piece in the summer when it gets hotter and then using this headpiece that sort of has a similar texture to the blouse, giving it more of like a sweet classic feel. I, again, I couldn't decide on a shoe color. I felt like all of these worked with the print because they're all kind of in the print. So any of these shoes, maybe the pink or blue to kind of tie in the hat a little bit more and the bows. I was thinking ruffly socks and maybe bare legs or like a solid uh, tight on the legs just to kind of not be overwhelming with the, the sleeve texture. I have such mixed feelings with this bag. I saw it originally and thought, oh, it'll look so good with the bows that are on the straps. I feel like it's the same bow it matches. It'd be an interesting way to add some color around your like waist area. But then I also feel like the structure of it is a little bit too stiff with the way that the other textures of it are. It's kind of like softer, more classic. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like this bag maybe feels too modern, too simplistic, or maybe it works. I really can't decide. <laughs> so Kyla is wearing When Camilla Blooms, which I found out is also the name of a K-drama. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like a period piece, but no, I think they're completely unrelated. Kyla was looking for more ways to wear this dress, which is definitely a challenge for me because it does lean more classic and I really don't know sh about classic Lolita. <laughs> Every time I try to style classic, it ends up looking sweet, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it my best. I'm gonna try. <laughs> she was asking specifically for more blouses advice and so I came up with a lot of different blouses that could give a lot of different looks for this. And while I was going through this, <laughs> I came up with something that is completely different. And again, it's so <laughs> specific to me and I don't know if this would work with your style, but I feel like, hear me out, you could bring bears into this coordinate. I feel like it kind of has that like Otome cottage country vibe with bears, but you could also bring another animal into it if you don't love bears the way that I do. I think that you could use the same kind of idea as this coordinate, but like with a cat or with a hamster or with a bunny rabbit and just switch out the bear things for more bunny themed things. Like I'm doing more browns with this, but I feel like this could also work with like grays in a cat or a bunny or even browns in a cat, you know? And I think your natural hair would be really adorable with this style of kind of made headband with the addition of animal ears that are clips. And I just really love this knit blouse. It feels very autumn. It gives definitely a different texture 
and look to the dress. Now, trying to go into more advice that you actually asked for, you mentioned that you wanted to wear a style that is a little bit more hime, more princess-like, so I tried to build a kind of classic coordinate around that. Definitely these type of blouses with this going on, the sleeves, I think immediately gives more of a hime look, especially in combination with jewelry, with like regal looking jewelry. I wasn't able to find a crown on any Lolita sites. They sometimes are on Devil Inspired, but there just weren't any really in stock right now for the type that I was thinking of. So I found this one on Etsy, but I think that you can also go to places that carry like prom dresses, even like wedding dress stores. Although anytime something is marketed as being for a wedding, it's always way more expensive. So maybe you could get some ideas and like thrift them. I had a hard time figuring out shoes and what it it led me down this rabbit hole of deciding what type of era of princessy or queen lolita you want your coordinate to be inspired by like i think that could help you get more ideas of pieces to put by looking at like the regency era compared to like their baroque era compared to edwardian or rococo like, what point in history do you want your queen princess aesthetic to come from and that can help you find those similar silhouettes and pieces in modern clothing i think for this type of coordinate you want to avoid tea parties i was thinking shoes that you would just get from regular stores or from thrifting or from maybe even like costume places historical costume places not like spirit of halloween or party city this is eden and they are wearing dream marine and they're just getting back into lolita fashion after a bit of a hiatus and their style tends to be more classic so i'm gonna help you <laughs> make a sweet coordinate made two coordinates for this one i did one that is more stereotypical sweet which you might not be as comfortable with but also, if you're looking to do more of that, it might be helpful to you. And then I also did not exactly a classic coordinate, but I think pieces that you could use in classic because I'm not sure if this is your only sweet piece, if you want to explore more Sweet Lolita, or if you just want to get a few more things to wear with this one dress, or get pieces that you could wear with other pieces. I've said pieces so many times in this video. <laughs> the Dream Marine coordinate that fits more into stereotypical Sweet Lolita I was envisioning a Peter Pan collar. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> I really like this one that has like a puffy sleeve here and then like puffs down. I think that it's very flattering and cute. And I think that the Peter Pan collar might be a little tricky to balance with this chest bow, but I think that there's enough room that you could put the bow in front of it and still have the collar be a little bit in in focus being a little bit of the focal point. I included a bunch of different colors of the blouse. I would ignore that black one, it doesn't really make sense, but <laughs> I think the white and both of the pinks could really work with this coordinate. I think if you want to go with something that you could wear possibly with other pieces to stick with the white one and then stay in more of like the blues and purples, so I would use that purpley blue headband and then maybe that uh, blue bag and then maybe the pink shoes to throw it all. <laughs> I think that with Dream Marine, like, you have to have a shell bag. You have to have shell accessories. It's the perfect print for it. It was made for it. Either one of these bags, I think, would work interchangeably with it. Okay, so this isn't really classic. <laughs> it's more <laughs> sailor-themed. But I think that you could maybe bring sailor themes to classic. I really, I tried. I just can't. I think that this sailor blouse would be really cool with this JSK because you'd remove the bow on the blouse and then have the bow of the JSK in place with it. And I think that the way the collar is with the straps, it would just look really nice. Having like a navy blue or blue or pink or purple sailor hat would be more interesting than this all white pieces that I use. This is kind of like a safer look, but I think that you could replace the shoes and the hat with a different color, but in a similar style. So Killian gave me a little bit of sass, <laughs> and he said that if I suggested a bonnet, he would unsubscribe. But I honestly wasn't thinking that at all. I was not going to suggest a bonnet for this coordinate. But he also mentioned that he wanted a more normal 
Lolita look, kind of what's within like regular Lolita parameters, I guess. But when I saw this print, I immediately went like hard <laughs> alternative, gothy, punky, and I don't know if that's what he's looking for, but like, please humor me, hear me out. I'm gonna recommend two different coordinates. One that's trying to be more within line of what I think you're looking for, and then also one that's just what I thought, what I like. And maybe you'll like it too. I don't know. I couldn't find a picture of Everything is Suffering skirt, so for the coordinates, I actually photoshopped the JSK, so the top of it might look a little bit different, but I thought it was too distracting to have other pieces in it with the pieces that I used. Killian mentioned that he has shoes already and doesn't really need shoe recommendations, but I couldn't help <laughs> but mention that this would be a great coordinate for demonias. Demonias are such a like questionable, do they work? Are they, should they be in Lolita? Should they not? I think this is a great opportunity to use them. And I really leaned into a punk and like alternative style of coordinate that I don't know would fit within like Lolita box, but I like it. I'd love to see this with demonias and then like layered tights, either like red tights with um, fishnets or patterns over top of them or just different patterns layered maybe like a sheer tight and I feel like this would be really cool to mix with a graphic tee I use this one that's still a little a little bit Lolita because it has a little bit of the puff sleeve it has a little bit of a Lolita silhouette while being a graphic tee and then I added this collar onto it to give more of like a safe Lolita feel <laughs> I feel like adding a lot of like chains and harnesses and straps onto this would be really cool as well. This coordinate, I'm definitely going like crazy with clashing patterns, bringing plaid into this like beautiful artwork. <laughs> but I think that it's a nice juxtaposition between the two. I think that it could still feel balanced through color and just by everything in the coordinate being a little bit punky, a little bit off. I think that this could be really cute with a big old nice gothic hat. <laughs> of some sort or even something with uh, a veil like a uh, what is that called like a morning veil it might be nice to wear a gray blouse with this using one of the grays or even purple tones in the print I think that you could definitely match this with like a more muted purple as well can't really see it at first but when you go up close into the print some of the shading has that type of hue uh, I couldn't find a gray blouse anywhere <laughs> I found this one on just Google images but I think that that's something that you could definitely find on secondhand retailers or thrifting or even in mainstream stores really I think that there's a lot of fancier classic dress wear in modern clothing that could work with gothic lolita you mentioned a lot of different things within the print that you could play around with and i think that that's really fun and i think that it could be cool to diy a pair of tights with like fabric paint to look kind of like blood <laughs> or just a uh, mysterious um goo or kind of like hints at that or like wine Ooh, i spilt wine all over my tights i am so fancy <laughs> And then you could also sew on little roses. I think that that could be really cool. You wouldn't want to do this on a sheer pair of tights. You'd want to do it on something that has like a pattern or texture or is more knit. But I think that it could be a fun outlet to make it more customizable. I think that this could look really cool with a cloak or a cape or a capelet as well. I think that could be a nice touch. I hope that helps you think outside the box a little and try more ways to wear your dresses please, I'd love to hear in the comments more suggestions you have or things that maybe you took from this video and want to try out for yourself. And as always, stay lovely. Sleeves kind of have this abrupt... Stop. <laughs> ...is to style. Just do a Wombles dance break while the sirens go off.